what is going on guys stealth here and today I'm bringing you guys some Modern Warfare 3 footage I know I said in my last commentary that I wasn't gonna upload that much Modern Warfare 3 footage but this gameplay has been on my hard drive for a very long time it's from November 21st I think back in uh, Veterans Day so anyways this is a team deathmatch on uh, I already forgot what map this is but I'm using the MP5 with extended mags and rapid fire. This is my favorite submachine gun setup, at least for close quarter combats. Close quarter combat, um, like it's not the best setup. The best setup, as everyone knows, is the MP7. But I had a lot of fun with this. This kept me going throughout the whole game until I really got fed up with Modern Warfare 3, which is why I don't play it right now. The perks that I'm using is Marathon Pro. Quick Drop Pro and Steady Aim Pro. I think that's the only way you can go when when it comes to rushing. Rushing, unless you're going for the Moab or something, and you're not running specialists. Uh, my kill streaks, I think, are the UAV, the Predator missile, and the H A H six Overwatch. Uh, I was using this way before I realized how much this kill streak sucked. And by this kill streak, I mean the A H six Overwatch. And I just no, it's not rundown. That's a mono for two. Never mind. I thought I knew the map, the the name of the map. Um, I go thirty one and five on this, and I think this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna be talking about the gameplay for the rest of the video. Anyways, on to the topic at hand. I want to talk about how people pretty much hate on people for joining YouTube, the YouTube commentary scene just for money. Well. It's not really just for money, but that's their main goal, getting money. And a lot of people, they don't like that. They call people scrubs. They really don't like that. But if you're doing it for fun, then it just switches around. And people really support you because they're like, oh, he's just you doing this on his spare time. He obviously has 20 hours a week to burn. No. Most of the people that say that they do it just for fun are actually just saying that so they don't get hated on. I'm kind of one of those people, but I'm not at the same time. So here are my opinions on this issue about money and basically YouTube and stuff. So money on YouTube, it's not a bad thing. It did change the community a lot. I think a lot of people wouldn't get a PBR if it wasn't... Uh, if it wasn't for partnerships that Machinima and the Game Station offers, I'm not saying Yaush because a lot of people, I'm not trying to hate on it, but a lot of people say it sucks. And a lot of people have left Yaush as soon as they got offered or as soon as they got qualified for a Machinima contract. So that's basically what the community turned into. Um, a lot of people started joining again, like I said, for money. But it wasn't just purely for money, and that's what people seem not uh, seem to miss the point in uh, joining YouTube. I mean, not everyone's gonna join just for money. If you're truly joining just for money, then you wouldn't even own a game that's uh, big uh, out there, or you probably wouldn't own. It's not like you're like some guy in an office sitting 24/7 that happened to. Uh, bump into some of like maybe Woody's or Guns for Hire's videos and decide oh it looks like they're having an easy time making a bunch of money they just play video games all day and then commentate on it so obviously I should go out and buy Call of Duty an Xbox and an HD PBR because that's how some people think that people react once they see that you can make a living off of YouTube basically off of video games if you really go down to the core <clears throat> but that's not how we act the people who start commentating are usually doing it yes for fun but at the same time for the money the money isn't usually like like the money doesn't have to be the main goal but the money is always in the back of your head you can you always um, think about having oh I want to be in machinima why I don't know 
And you, like ask anyone why do they want to be on machinima? Most of the top uh, answers are gonna be one to get more subscribers and more views, and then two to get more to get money. I mean, there's no other reason to be partnership with machinima unless well, there's one other reason. There's like some perks that machinima partners get, like um, I think Woody's gamer tag got a free flight to Call of Duty XP. But a lot of people don't think about those things when they apply for a partnership. They just think about A, the money, and B, the exposure. So that's basically what I think about when people join. If you say that you're doing it purely for fun, I say that's bull. No one is doing this purely for fun. I'm, yeah, you can do it mainly for fun and then money is a side goal like for example this channel we're planning on growing it first before we even think about the money I mean it's still in our back of our heads but that's that's like one of the bonuses of having a YouTube channel it's not really our main goal it's not really my main goal if anything if I actually ever gain money off of YouTube the only thing I ask for is getting the money back that I spent on the HD PBR and all the equipment that I bought just for YouTube that's all I want if I ever make money of course I'm not gonna say no to the, any extra money either but whatever and my in my opinion doing it for the money like doing it just thinking about, oh, I want to grow my channel because I want money. I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, it, it, it's a, a motive for some people. And it makes their channels better. It makes their quality and content better. Like, for example, if someone wants to get into YouTube for the money, they're not going to waste half a year on Dazzle. They might start out on Dazzle so they can, like, test the water maybe and they're on a budget so they just get a cheap I don't know five dollar microphone and like the dazzle or an easy cap or whatever but they're not gonna stay like that for the rest of their career they know they can't make that much money off of standard quality videos so obviously for if you want this stuff for the money then you're gonna try to do the best you can some people do kind of cheat tactics to get it into that range to get to start gaining money I don't want to name any names but I will name some tactics that some people have used like doing excessive giveaway videos multiple times a week and all you're giving away is like five PSN $15 cards and like five other Xbox Microsoft points cards that's in my opinion a cheap tactic because you're not doing anything that's related to your channel you're just saying oh hey hey guys I'm hosting a lottery come subscribe to me if you subscribe to me you'll be automatically part of the lottery oh and f while you're at it favorite and like my video and comment on it how is that not a cheap tactic now most of the people that did that don't do it anymore because they don't need it they got those people's attentions and then now they can just upload whatever they want so that's basically my opinions on YouTube and money and stuff like that uh, the game is is has ended and this has been virtual stealth hopefully you like the video please comment rate and if you're new to this channel subscribe